So it's nearing exam season and you really want to get your marks up again. Or maybe you just want to be a little bit more organized going into the next semester. Don't worry, it's super easy and let me show you how. This is my overall Notion dashboard. To make a to-do list, it's actually quite simple. It's like the best, best way to stay organized in my opinion. Type into the AI to explain it to me in simple terms. Like, I didn't know about this and this blew my mind. So we're currently coding in C++, so I can just put C++ there. Hey guys, what's up? So, it's your girl Serena. I haven't been on for a while, so if you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, Welcome back, thank you for coming back, and today I'm just going to be doing a another Notion tour. Yes, I've done this before, I actually have a pretty cohesive video, I guess, showing off my Notion template. It's not really as much of a tutorial, it's more of just, here's my template that I use for school. For today's video, I actually want to give a huge shout out to Notion for sponsoring this video today. That is like literally a dream collaboration of mine. I literally can't believe it. So thank you guys for making this happen and I hope you guys enjoy. So just a quick debrief, I guess, in case a lot of people don't know what Notion is. It's basically a platform which you can organize your entire life and it offers like so many different features you can use it as a business sort of platform where you can collaborate with others you can use it more as a personal platform like what i do where you can organize tasks to-do lists calendars take notes so like there's so many features that you can use it for and so today i'm just going to be giving you guys a little bit of a tour of my notion again how i use notion for school staying organized staying on top of everything and in addition i guess showing you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks on how i use notion for school to essentially be super super productive and super organized in university so if you're interested yeah keep watching this is my overall notion dashboard i have showed this before but in case you haven't seen that video this is my entire dashboard and like i've mentioned before i actually took inspiration from brianna kwan so this dashboard and like this template i guess is inspired by hers my two biggest pages that i look at the most are my master to-do list and my weekly schedule so i will say for sure my weekly schedule is the number one thing i look at every single day it's very interesting because i didn't actually use this that much back like last year and first year but starting second semester it helped so so much staying on task staying on track and just really understanding like how much i need to do every day and how much is reasonable for myself so again i'm not going to go too into detail because i have shown this before but i will kind of go more into like how you can make your own page and customize it yourself so to make a to-do list it's actually quite simple so i'm just going to open up a new page and like recreate this page essentially but from like a completely blank sort of template so i'm just gonna open up a new page here and it's currently untitled this is just what it looks like when you open a new page and i'm just gonna call it my weekly schedule again again just showing you guys how i do this so some things i like to do i really like to customize it so i usually like to add a cover um that's kind of an ugly emoji no offense so what I did was I did like a little checklist. So I kind of go into these icons that they have here. I just use this check mark list because, you know, kind of makes sense. Weekly schedule and you can also choose like the shade. So I just chose like a dark gray. And then I also like adding a cover here. So Notion comes with like their own covers, pictures that you can choose from, which is pretty cool. Like they have some pretty interesting ones, not gonna lie. They have some NASA photos the Met Museum, but if you want to customize it yourself, you can just go to upload here and you can upload a file. All the things that I use for my Notion, including like pictures and like, I guess uh, icons as well sometimes are all on my Pinterest. So you can go follow my Pinterest if you want to see like all the graphics I use basically. So this is how it looks so far. So another thing I like to do is if you go to the three dots in the top corner, you can make it full width. I actually just prefer this because I kind of just like seeing like it a lot bigger, wider. I feel like it can fit more. And so there's a couple different things you can do here before just like creating an empty page. So again, you can import like from a separate template or something like that, but I'm just going to create an empty page for now. 
So once you do this, you can press space if you want to do an AI command like this, super easy. Or if you want different commands, you press your uh, forward slash and it'll come up with a bunch of different things. Most of the time I use to-do list or I use one of these headings. So for the headings, I just use these to make like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know what I mean? And so that's one for example, and then you can do it again, backslash. And if you're not too keen on looking through the list and finding it, you can actually just write it and it'll pop up and you can just choose which one you want. So I just put Tuesday, for example. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I think you guys will get it once you kind of get it. Here you can also customize each heading, which is pretty cool. You can do a color. I usually like doing a background and just because the cover is pink, I'm gonna make it pink. And then how to make like the column sort of, you just click these dots on the side again and you can like drag it around, put it wherever you want. But I'm just gonna put it beside Monday here. And so I can create a column here and then again, Looking back, like I can do the same with Wednesday. You would just make another like heading here and then just drag it beside Tuesday and look at that. So easy. So now when you want to do your to-do list, what you're going to do is you're just going to press the enter key underneath your heading. Again, press the forward slash and to-do list is right there. Perfect. Literally so easy, you know? And that's another thing that I literally love about Notion. Like I've loved it since the get-go in terms of just how user-friendly it is. And the entire interface looks so clean, so pretty to look at. It's just aesthetic, you know? And I feel like it's just so easy to organize everything and it's easy for anyone to pick up. Obviously there's tons of tutorials out there. Notion has their own tutorials on the app as well but i just think even just playing around with it you'll probably get the hang of it pretty quickly i want to say so yeah that's how i make my weekly schedule essentially but easy for you guys you can actually just use my own template i'm gonna link it down below for you guys it's just a template you can use you can click duplicate copy put it into your own notion and then all you have to do is really just customize the covers and the titles and change graphics and images to whatever you guys want. I think that's also like such an awesome thing about Notion. It's just that you can literally just take templates from other people, make it your own. And it's like such a great way to collaborate and use like things that other people have already made and make it better and make it customized to yourself. So this is my second page that I use very, very often. This is my master to-do list. And I really like this as well because you can just lay out everything. I love tables. It's like the best, best way to stay organized in my opinion. The task that is due, the status, the course, if it's handed in or not what the task is in terms of like, is it um, like a quiz, an assignment, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the date that it's due and the time that it's due. Those are my two big, uh, I guess, pages that I use the most. Again, I'm not gonna go too in detail because I have a full Notion tour where I do go into detail already up on my channel. So if you're interested in looking at that, I'll put it in my description box below or you can find it somewhere at the top here and click on it. So moving on, I wanna talk more about the AI feature that Notion has because not only do I think it is so, so cool, a lot of people have been talking about AI, a lot of people have been like, oh, it's gonna like steal our jobs, blah, 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 like so scary, all this stuff. But in my opinion, overall, I think being able to use new technology in a way that can benefit you is like so, so convenient and so, so helpful. In terms of using AI for school, I actually didn't use AI last year and I actually regret it so much because it is so, so helpful. AI is almost like having a search engine, but especially tailored to exactly what you need and what you're looking for. And disclaimer, I am not promoting using AI for cheating or plagiarism at all. I think those are very, very major offenses, especially in university. Um, you will be like probably penalized very, very harshly if you are caught. So I do not recommend using AI in terms of cheating or plagiarism. I personally use it a lot more for learning and I use it more for clarification. I'm just gonna show you guys how that works. So like I had mentioned sort of before, you can just press space on any empty page and it will come up with a prompt of different things you can use the AI software for. For example, you can brainstorm ideas, create a blog post, an outline, a social media post, an essay, 
like a summary, like so many different things, right? The main thing that I really like using AI to do is to actually plan trips. And I actually just came back from a trip to Florida. So let's just use the AI to write a trip itinerary to Florida. So I'm just gonna write, write me a trip itinerary to Florida for a week. And then look at that. It just writes it out for you. And once you get down to the end, you can ask the AI to do more. So some examples are to continue writing, to make it longer, maybe to make it more detailed. So I'll say like, can you make each day a bit more detailed? Again, it will just write out a whole new list of things to do in Florida. So that is like one example of using AI to just, you know, make things in life so much more convenient and so much more helpful. So I'm just going to do something else, maybe a bit more school related. So I am going to write, can you explain how to find the derivative of a function in a simple way? So I do this so, so much during the school year. You guys don't understand. A lot of the times I come home from lecture and I have no idea what went on. I have no idea what happened. I don't wanna crack open a textbook and get even more confused. So what I do is I just type into the AI to explain it to me in simple terms. Sometimes give me an example so I can work through it and like, look at that. So, so simple. So this is an example to find the derivative of a function. This is how you follow these steps. And if it's still not understandable, like, let's say this is like still kind of confusing. I'll just say like, can you give a simple example of finding the derivative of a function? And yeah, just writes it out for you. So, so convenient, so, so simple. And another thing I wanted to mention in terms of Notion is the note-taking aspect. I see so, so many people in my class using Notion to take notes. I personally am not one that is very keen on writing on my laptop to take notes, but it can be really, really helpful for more digital courses. So for example, coding courses. So I'm just gonna show you guys this because I think it's so cool. Coding notes. So let's say I wanted to write some coding notes for class and right now what we're talking about is we just went over recursion what you can do guys this is like so so cool you can actually go down into one of these options and there's literally a code block like i didn't know about this and this blew my mind i think it's so cool so here you can literally choose the language that you're writing in so right now it's javascript they have so many coding languages like it's so so cool guys so we're currently coding in c so i can just put c there and i can just include some of these headers hashtag include iostream and using name space std and i'm just gonna write a quick int main look at this guys has all the colors so so pretty you can copy the entire coding block you can even caption your coding block like i think this is one of the coolest features about using notion and again how they can organize all of this you can literally make a page for each of your courses embed pages in it organize it however you want. I've seen people use a table and put their lectures into slots in the table. I've seen people like have pages within pages within pages. There's like so much variety. And I think the coolest thing is just the fact that so many people use Notion. You can get a lot of inspiration from so many people and it kind of just inspires you to be even more organized and to organize your Notion in so many different cool ways. Those are my general tips and tricks for using Notion. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and definitely check out Notion. You can download it for free using my special link down below it's completely free to use you can as soon as you download it you can create an account and you can copy my own template that i showed you guys into your own notion to begin organizing your life basically and obviously i am more of a study focused like academic channel but using notion you can do it for all purposes if you have been actually thinking about getting your life a little bit more together and on track and more productive I think this app is a great place to start. It's not too overwhelming. You can get a lot of things such as my template and 
hopefully this mini tutorial inspired you guys some more and you learned some cool new features about using Notion. So thank you again to Notion for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!